Today we're going to make a modern drink, the Gin Basil Smash. For this drink, you're going to need a double old-fashioned glass, a jigger, a muddler, a cocktail shaker, a hawthorn strainer, a fine mesh strainer, and a cutting board and a small knife. This drink uses gin, fresh lemon juice, simple syrup, and a lot of basil. This is a modern drink, created near the beginning of our 21st century cocktail renaissance, but its lineage traces back to the 1830s. It's a wild remix of a classic formula, but it still bears a strong resemblance to its predecessor. This drink was created in 2008 by Jörg Meyer, bartender and co-owner of Le Leon in Hamburg. Meyer was fascinated with the cocktail revival blossoming in New York. The Pegu Club, Milk and Honey, PDT, The Rainbow Room, and others were full of mad scientists reanimating the mostly dead carcass of cocktail culture. At the Pegu Club on a trip to New York, Meyer had Dale DeGroff's Whiskey Smash. DeGroff's version was a slight variation on the long dormant category of drinks, the Smash. In America in the 1800s, particularly around the Civil War, it was a popular template to plug a spirit into. You'd have the Brandy Smash, the Whiskey Smash, and the Gin Smash. The spirit would then be stirred with sugar, ice, and muddled mint, then strained into another glass garnished with fruit, usually citrus. DeGroff added fresh muddled lemon juice to the template, so his Whiskey Smash became a kind of hybrid of a whiskey sour and a mint julep. Meyer was looking to create a drink for his summer menu, so he took DeGroff's concept, swapped out the whiskey and mint for gin and basil, and the gin basil smash was born. It's a fairly simple drink to make at home, but it's an impressive one to serve guests. First of all, the color is amazing. The bright neon green is eye-catching. Secondly, and most importantly, it's a perfectly balanced gin sour. And what sets it apart from other gin sours is the sweet, peppery, vegetal, almost licorice flavor of the basil that perfectly complements the botanicals of the gin. For the gin, I like to use Monkey 47 in this trick. It's a big, funky spirit, one that's ubiquitous in Europe, and particularly fitting in this case because it comes from Germany. But as always, feel free to use your favorite gin. Any way you slice it, you'll end up with a great drink. The real secret to the drink is not being shy about the amount of basil. It takes a lot to get that big, savory herbal note to come through. It's also how you get its signature color. And perhaps it's just the nostalgia for Acto Cooler talking, but the color is really alluring. Before I get started, I like to cut, squeeze, strain, and bottle my lemon juice. Whack the rim of the glass with a basil sprig to help release some oils and give it that great aroma. Then drop in a large hunk of ice and set it aside. Normally with the Boston shaker, I'd build the cocktail in the smaller tin. But in this case, we need so much basil, we're gonna build it in the larger one. Grab a heaping fistful of basil and stuff that in your large shaker tin. Then give it a good muddle. You don't want to totally pulverize the basil, but you don't want to make it easy on it either. Next, we're going to measure an ounce of lemon juice. Add that to the shaker. Measure three quarter ounces of simple syrup. Add that to the shaker. Measure two ounces of gin. Add that to the shaker. Add ice, pop on the top, and give it a good shake to chill it down and give it some dilution. Then double strain the contents of your shaker over the ice in your double old-fashioned glass. That'll filter out all those little broken bits of basil and keep them from getting stuck in your teeth. Grab the basil spray you used to christen your glass and drop it in for garnish. And there it is. A better way to get smashed. The Gin Basil Smash. Post. You can support this channel by clicking on the Patreon link here. Check out some more videos, be sure to subscribe, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.